Hey, our friends, we're glad you're with us again today. We're going to draw another dog, aren't we, Chuckers? Yeah. Yeah, what are we going to draw this time? We're going to draw a Labrador. All right, Chuckers, you got your marker? Marker! <laughs> We hope you guys are going to follow along with us. You have something to draw with and a piece of paper in front of you. And we asked our art friends, parents, right? And yeah. teachers. We asked the adults that subscribe to our email list which dog we should draw next, huh? Mm -hmm. And you guys sent us a ton of responses back. We loved getting all the responses. We had almost 200 responses on which dog we should draw next, huh? Yeah. Yeah, and the one that came back the most popular was the Labrador, right? Yeah. The golden Lab. And so we're going to draw a Golden Lab. You can also draw a Black Lab. It's pretty easy. We're just going to, you would just color them different, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, but we also have a list of all the other dogs we're going to be doing. So be sure to stay tuned for more dogs to come. All right, dude, you ready to start? Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, checkers, we're going to start with our paper horizontal, okay? And yeah. we're going to start with his eye, kind of like we did with the husky. And I'm going to try and draw, this time we're going to try and draw the dog a little bit bigger on our piece of paper, okay? Okay. So we're going to try and fill up the space a little more than we did with the husky. So we're going to draw a circle, and it's going to be kind of small because we want, we're trying to draw realistic, right? Yeah. So there we go. There's his eye. Top left. Good job, you nailed it. <laughs> okay, now we'll put a little a little curved line over the top for uh, top of his eye. Good, that looks awesome. Okay, now let's put a little a small curve right to the left of his eye, and that's for his forehead. So, and then labs have a slightly different shaped head than uh, huskies, right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna draw a little bit different. The husky we drew a diagonal line, huh? So this yeah. one's coming out for his nose. And then we're going to come down uh, for the front of his nose. And I drew that maybe a little too tall, but we'll round it out under. So then we're going to come back for the bottom of, the bottom of his uh, mouth here. I'm going to curve this down like that. There we go. That looks awesome. Okay, then we can put a little curve right here for his nose. Good job. Now let's draw the top of his head. We're going to draw a curved line that comes over the top. Like that. And I'm going to come back even a little bit further. There we go. Good job. Okay, now let's draw his ear. And they have little floppy ears, don't they? Mm -hmm. So we're going to come down. We're going to draw a little U shape like this. It comes down and then back up. Good, and then we can kind of come back over too, like that. Sweet. Okay, now let's let's draw the front of his mouth, um, or his, his mouth. Let's just draw his mouth, <laughs> the front of his mouth. I don't know what the front of his mouth is. There we go. So there's his mouth. He's a little frowny, huh? That's okay. We're drawing him realistic. All right. So now let's draw his neck. So we're gonna come down off of his off of his mouth right here and we're going to draw a curved line that comes down and it's kind of it can be kind of wobbly coming down and then this is going to be in the front of his his chest good job now let's draw the back of his neck so we're gonna they have pretty thick necks so this is going to come out from the back of his his ear right here Come down diagonally and then start curving into his back. Okay. Good job. Okay, now this line could come down. Let's bring this line down a little further down. There you go. Okay, now let's draw his back. So we're going to curve, we're going to come back further um, back here. And then we're going to curve down like that. And then this is going to end about the same spot down the paper. Let's draw his first leg, okay? So we're going to come back over here and we're going to draw a line that comes down, straight down. And then we can draw the hook. It's kind of a J shape. 
It's out for his foot. And then let's come back up and we'll draw the other side of his leg. Let's draw that a little bit longer. He's going to look like a dachshund. <laughs> And dachshunds have really short legs and they have really long bodies. <laughs> okay, so let's come back up. We'll draw his other leg. And then we're going to start kind of thick. So spaced out. We're going to be spaced out over here. But then we're going to come closer down to his ankle like this. Good job. And then we'll come down for his heel. And then we can curve the front of his paw. And then connect the bottom good job that looks awesome that looks really good okay now let's draw the front and we're going to do this is a lot like the husky we're going to draw the same line right next to it so it looks 3d huh mm -hmm. and then we're going to curve out for his paw curve down and then curve back in okay and then we can put a little toe on there from both of them Sweet, we got it. We got his front legs in there. Okay, now let's come back over here and we're gonna do his belly. So we're gonna start down here. We're gonna imagine this going through his chest or through his leg, his chest going through his legs. And we're gonna curve up diagonally and then we're gonna stop right about there and we're gonna start curving down to do his back leg. So come up a little bit higher. Yeah, there you go. That's good. Higher. No, that's good. That's good. And then we're gonna. Okay, we're going to come over here, we're going to do his back leg, and we want to make sure that we don't draw this leg longer than his front legs, okay? okay. So when we draw this one, we're going to come down like this, we're going to stop there, about halfway down, and then we're going to bend and come straight down like this, and then we're going to draw his paw. And this one we're going to put kind of on his, he's almost up on his tiptoes, like he's pointing a little bit. All right, so then we're gonna draw now the front of this leg, okay? So we're gonna curve. Okay, this line is gonna come right here. We'll put a point right next to where we're gonna come. And it's right where that bend is, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna curve his belt, this belly line. We're gonna curve it down to that point that we put in there. Good. And then we're gonna bend, we're gonna come down Parallel to that one. We'll curve out for his paw, back in, and then connect it. Okay, and then we can put his little toe in there. Okay, now let's draw his other foot that's back here so it looks 3D. And we're going to space this one out a little bit more. So we're going to curve down like that. Good. And then we'll put this bend in here that's on the other foot. The other foot, like that, and make sure that we're not making this foot too long or too short. Curve in. Good. Now let's draw the other side. So we're going to come back over here. Curve down, and then curve that in, and then let's curve the front of his paw and then connect it. So the, the object was to really just try to get this foot to look a lot like this other one right next to it, but just spaced out, huh? Mm -hmm. That looks really good. It looks, it looks awesome, dude. Now let's put a little toe on there. Good. That looks awesome. Does it look cool? Mm -hmm. Do you have fun? Yeah. Okay, we're missing his tail though, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to put a little, we're going to put it so it looks like he's a show dog and he's point, is pointing. So we're going to draw this tail coming straight out. Okay, and then we can come back in like this. And you can put a little, you can put a really small jagged lines in there if you want. So it looks a little furry. Good job, he looks awesome. Now he's gonna look a lot more like a Labrador once we color him, huh? Yeah. All right, so let's get our colors picked out. Okay. All right, checkers, we got our colors all picked out. This is gonna be so awesome. We found the perfect colors, didn't we? Yeah. We got uh, dark umber, and we're using Prismacolor uh, colored pencils. But if our friends don't have these, you can just use any um, uh, colored pencils and just try to match this, the colors that we have. 
So this is a, a dark brown, and it's called dark umber. And then we also have a burnt ochre, and this is uh, almost just like a regular brown. It's It's got a lot of red in it. And then a cream color, and then this is gonna be our, our, our main color, is gonna be uh, ginger root. Okay, you ready to start? Yeah. All right, let's start with the ginger root, and we're gonna use this to do all of our the base colors, okay, or the base coat on him, and then we're gonna layer everything else on top of that, okay? So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just cover the whole dog with this color, okay? okay. A light layer, don't press too hard, okay? Okay. And we'll fast forward, ready? Okay, the other thing too I'm doing checkers is we're using short strokes, and as you go down his, you kind of want to do the strokes in the same direction that his fur would go. So I, I did the strokes down his neck, going up and down, and then as you go down his body, I'm going to go this direction. Cool? Yeah. Good job, checkers. Okay, now we're going to use our next color, which is the burnt ochre, or the really kind of red-brown, and we're going to color his ear. We're going to color his ear with this this color, and then we're gonna use this color to also do all of the shading. So we're okay. gonna, we'll do his ear first, and then we're gonna come over here, do his nose, and we can do around his eye, also down his neck. And let's fast forward this, and then we'll, when we get to the end, our art friends can pause it and see all of the shading that we did, okay? Okay. Okay, checkers, we got the shading in there, and the important thing to do with this is you just wanna make sure that you put a light layer on top with that, with the shading, huh? Mm -hmm. And then you just kinda of blend it in, and we're gonna use the cream to blend it in even more, but before we do that, let's get our dark brown, and we're just gonna do a little more uh, shading kind of on the front of his, his snout. But the front of their nose is a lot darker, huh? Yeah. All right, so we got that in there, and then we can also come down and we can add use this uh, dark brown to add a little bit more shadow in between his legs here on the front, and then also back here on his back leg. All right, cool, Kate. Okay, the last step, we're gonna use the cream, and we can come back in here and use the, this color to blend all of those um, pencil marks so that his fur looks a lot more smooth. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. And if you can, if you, uh, if the dog uh, has a little bit more coarse fur, uh, like tougher fur, you could leave the pencil marks and it will give you a different texture look. But labs have really soft and kind of um, short fur and it just looks really smooth. So this is an easy way to kind of get some of those texture or those pencil marks out and make it look softer. Chuggers, man, that looks so awesome. It looks a lot better when he's colored, huh? Yeah. Yeah, because the, the, the Labrador shape is kind of just a, a simple shape. It's not too complicated. It's kind of hard to tell what kind of dog it is. But then when you color him golden, it definitely looks like a golden lab, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so this would be a lot of fun to try and redraw him, but do a black lab. And you would just use black and gray and maybe a little bit of white to try and do some of the blending. That would be awesome, huh? Yeah. We should try that. Yeah. <laughs> We hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing your golden labs with us. I don't know what you're doing. You look like a bunny, not a dog. <laughs> we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye, our friends.